Hey everyone, this is Jason. Today I wanted to talk about the differences that we deal with here in Central Florida when we have five or six months of rain every single day. The rain is intense. It's fast. It's not all day. As a rule, we'll get hit with rain in the afternoon from two to four. Um, and it comes down in buckets. Some of the things that we have to address with our bonsai trees is that if we put a finer bonsai soil in our bonsai pots, it typically won't drain as well. It'll stay wet longer. Uh, the, the, the sheer volume of water that comes down from these large uh, raindrops will actually wash some of that soil out of the surface of the pots. And we do tend to get root rot a lot sooner because of it. Some of the ways that we contend with this rain is we not only use inorganic bonsai soil, so the soil doesn't break down uh, as fast, um, is also we use a more coarse mix. Uh, standard mix that we use here is lava rock or scoria, uh, akadama, uh, pumice, perlite, and sometimes granite and a little bit of charcoal. One of the issues with having a more coarse mix is that the trees will dry out faster. But if we're getting rain every single day and we're watering in the morning every single day, the wet dry cycle is ideal. One of the trade-offs that we have with this heavy rain is that we have a lot more issue with fungus. And we have a lot more issues with larger leaf growth and looser inner nodes. So we actually have to trim our trees quite a bit more often with this uh, intense rain but it does work to develop our trees very well, especially trees that really like a lot of humidity. Because we deal, um, during that five or six months, we'll have 80 to 95% humidity. Uh, so we'll have excellent aerial roots on our ficuses and we'll have this obscene amount of growth on our trees that really like that perfect drainage. Uh, so there is a trade-off. It does make it a little bit more di uh, difficult to really refine a tree. You have to really watch the watering and um, sometimes even take it and put it underneath an eave if you're really trying to develop it to keep the tree from, from growing too much and getting too wet. If you have any other experiences with uh, heavy rains or any thoughts on that or interesting uh, observations, maybe you're in, from Nevada or a real dry area in California uh, and you have some ideas and thoughts that you'd like to share with the viewers, please put it down on the um, comment sections below. If you like the information, if you're interested in hearing more of these, um, please like the video and if you think it's uh, worthy information, please share with your friends. Uh, thank you very much for your support.